How you doing out there today, my friend? This is your favorite entrepreneur, Antonio Entrepreneur Millhouse, reporting live from the Rise of the 1% headquarters here in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, today we have Mr. Gerald Bass, serial entrepreneur, the creator and founder of the Rise of the 1%. And uh, today we're just going to, uh, I'm going to interview Mr. Bass and, uh, you know, just going to ask him a few questions on, you know, business, life, you know, and stuff like that of that nature. So uh, with that being said, let's dive into this interview. So how are you doing today, Mr. Bass, first of all? Man, I'm doing great, man. I'm blessed. Outstanding, I'm outstanding. I love it. I love it, man. You look like you're doing great, man. Yeah. Awesome. Good. Awesome. So, man, the first question I want to ask you, Mr. Bass, is what's currently going on right now with the Rise of the 1% community? Well, uh, right now we've been really uh, focusing on enhancing our coaching and consulting program, and so that's why... Uh, a lot of you all haven't really been seeing me online as much and really putting out content over the last couple of weeks. I apologize for that, but hey, I'm on the way back. As you can see tonight on Saturday night, I'm doing that. I plan on delivering the goods on this interview. Uh, but yeah, we've been basically just focusing on enhancing our coaching and consulting program, really simplifying everything from A to Z for all of our consulting clients so that it's simplified as much as it possibly could be for them really to have a clear understanding, have a clarity to really go out and really have a lot of success in their business. So that's been really my main focus literally over this last week is really just making some adjustments to the coaching and consulting program. And I'm really excited about the direction we're actually going into with that program over the last Tuesday, uh, over the last week, we actually had a call with some of our consulting clients letting them know the direction we was going in and uh, they were very excited about the new enhancements and the minor adjustments that we make it to the program. It's gonna bring a whole lot more value to the clients for them to be able to really scale up their businesses and get to that 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month mark that a lot of entrepreneurs seek to get to. Uh, we also are transitioning this week into uh, really wrapping up the stages of our Network Marketing Master Academy. We're actually about to get ready to launch that over these next couple of weeks. And uh, besides that, I mean, just really just delivering and coming up with more content for the Rise of the 1% community and all our entrepreneurs and business owners that's involved, finding out how we can really service them more so that they can really go out and get even more results in what they're doing. So that's primarily been the focus at this particular time. Wow. Yeah. Man, y'all doing some great things, brother. Absolutely. And I know one thing that you mentioned, you did mention about the Network Marketing Master Academy. Right. So uh, let me ask you this. What is the reason for you coming up with the Network Marketing Mastery Academy? Uh, well, the reason I came with the Network Marketing Mastery Academy is because I actually was in the network marketing industry aggressively building uh, for around about five years. And I've seen a lot of different things uh, in the industry. I went to a lot of different trainings, a lot of different conferences, and five years have been in the industry. And one thing that I noticed that a lot of those events that I went to from Super Saturdays to the regionals to the nationals was that a lot of the leaders trained on the ABCs of network marketing. It's not really any advanced training when it really comes to understanding marketing that these leaders put in place. It amazes me that the name of the industry is network marketing, but they fail to teach marketing. All they really teach is make a list of 100 people, talk to your family and friends. They teach the three-foot rule, talking to people while you're out and about, having home parties, inviting people to weekly meetings and to the Super Saturdays and stuff like that. But it's a whole lot more to the industry to really get to the success that you're looking to get to. And one really comes with establishing your own brand. That's one thing when it really comes to the industry that a lot of network marketers are really don't understand. They attach themselves to the company instead of branding themselves. And so... Those are some of the things that I want to cover in this academy. And not only that, it's a lot of other things that's not shared from a lot of these stages in the industry. Like I said, when it comes from a marketing standpoint and really getting your opportunity exposed, getting your products and services exposed, that a lot of these leaders don't teach. And myself, I was in the trenches for five years and I was successful in two network marketing companies in five years. The last company I was involved in, I was ranked amongst like the top 3% of income earners in the entire company. So through my successes and through my lessons, I feel I have a lot to share uh, with other network marketers and home-based business owners. And I have some of my leaders as well, like yourself, Mr. Millhouse, and some of my other leaders as well that had some success in network marketing as well that I want to come on and share some of the things that have worked for these people as well. And so that's why we're coming up with the Academy. I want to really 
Give people the goods. Forget the hype. Forget the fluff. Let's really get you to that next level in that business if that's what you're looking to do. I have nothing against the network marketing industry at all. I got a lot out of it from personal development. I got a lot out of it from networking and building relationships. I got a lot of it from developing different business skills to even making a lot of money at a particular time in the industry. So I have none against the industry. It's just it's so many people struggling in the network marketing industry. It's the point zero one percent of the industry that really even make any money. They say the average network marketer makes $10 a week. Wow. $10 a week. I mean, who can live off of that? Or even create a part-time income off of that. And so that's why I want to come up with this academy to really give the goods that some of this leadership of some of these companies are not giving. And then I know, too, it's a lot of network marketers as well who don't have great leadership. They don't have great leadership when it comes to their company. Either their upline is new or the upline is too busy and can't service them. And so I want to become that mentor to be able to help those people. Wow. That's huge, my friend, for real. Because I can actually agree with that, man. Because, you know, like you said, we've both been in the industry for years. We learned a lot. We developed. We not did all the walking through the malls. And right. Phone calls, everything. calling, everything, inboxing people. <laughs> but, you know, it's way more to it than just that. And a lot of people don't understand that. And so I'm glad that you have something in place to really help those individuals because statistics say that 97% of network marketers are currently struggling. Right. And so that's a good thing that you're coming out with the Network Marketing Mastery Academy. So that's phenomenal, man. So the next question I want to ask you, brother, is, all right, so you've been in network marketing, right, for five years. And your goal was to get to five figures a month minimum, and you was told by many leaders that they would get you there. But how does it feel today, you know, to get there? And what advice would you give to those that's looking to get there? Well, I, I would say it feels absolutely great. Um, I can tell you this. When I was on my way exiting out of the network marketing industry as a builder at the end of 2016, literally, I went to a conference in uh, Irving, California, and I, it was a private mastermind event. The information I was sharing was valued around $25,000. Uh, by me going to that particular mastermind, it was a couple of key nuggets that was shared with me by some mentors that was out there with myself, and I came back and applied it, and literally within a week, I made like $5,000, and then as we continued to push and build throughout that particular month, we hit five figures. Um, and that was at the end of uh, 2016. And now we on the way of making consistent five figures a month. And I can say it just feels great because even being in the network market over five years and having success, yeah, I was promised a lot of things of this lifestyle that I was going to be able to have. I was promised this lifestyle. I was promised this lifestyle of being able to potentially retire my mom. I was Part of this lifestyle that I'd be able to do a whole lot more for others, right? Or you'd be able to upgrade my lifestyle as well. And yes, I made some income and I was able to be full time in the industry, but at the same time, there still was a lot of things I was not able to do. But since now that I'm actually doing my own thing and I've been able to create consistent five figure months, you know, now I'm able to upgrade my lifestyle to a whole nother level. I mean, we're going crib shopping. Uh, next week, right? And that's not to brag or boast. I'm just saying five years being in network marketing, I was promised that a lot of these things was going to happen. It didn't happen, right? And I'm not saying that, like I said, to bash the industry. That's why I'm creating an academy because I want to help people really scale their business to the next level and really get the goods. But with me, yes, crib shopping, whip shopping, not only that, um, you know, able to retire my significant other. You know, she doesn't no, no longer works for the airlines no more. She now works for the Rise of the 1% company. You know, we finna great to send her to school to get a certification for event planning. That's what she wants to do. We're going to do that through the income that, you know, we're generating at this particular time. We're about to get ready to take some more vacations and stuff. We got all type of stuff coming up. We're going to make some investments. You know, all this type of stuff by creating a five-figure a month income. And from here, really five figures a month, I mean, that's just... The beginning. I mean, we're looking to scale up way bigger than that. That's just the beginning. And uh, I'm proud of the accomplishment thus far because actually our company has only been around four months. So that's why I'm very excited. Four months in business. And we already having that type of success and we've been having to create some success stories along the way. I mean, Antonio had a $1,000 day recently. You know, Lakeisha Hamilton, $3,000 in information products just like that. 
you know, so we have people that's creating successes and we have more that's coming. We've only been around for a month. So that's why I'm, I'm extremely excited about the making a consistent five figures a month. Now, any advice I would give to someone that's looking to create that type of income is you need to get focused on one thing. A lot of people are all over the place. One week they're doing this business opportunity. A few weeks later they're doing this business. Then a month later they're doing something else. You got to get focused and laser beam focused on one thing, right? If you chase it behind multiple rabbits, what's going to happen? They're all going to get away, right? So you got to really focus in on one business model, one skill set, master that skill set. Go all in with that particular skill set. Really leverage your particular strength that you have and you can build a six-figure and above business. Not only that, you want to get some type of product or service or make sure you create, or create a product or service or marketing a product or service that has a high profit margin. Like, for instance, being in network marketing, a lot of times the profit margins are very small, especially when it comes to recruitment. You're talking about $70 a partner. Now, I'm not knocking that. Like I say, it's a way to create additional streams of income and multiple streams of income. But what if you had a product that you marketed that was priced at $1,000 a sale. You only need 10 sales in a month to make $10,000 in a month, right? Or if you had a product or service priced at $5,000, right? You only need a couple of sales in a month to be on the way to making a six-figure income for the year, right? And so that's what I would say when it comes to like creating a multiple five figure a month and even six figure and above business is those are the things you want to keep in mind. Focusing on one thing and find a product or service or create a product or service that you can market that has a stream value that can get a person or if you're doing business to business, a business, a guaranteed result and you 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 make sure that you you, you price point that product or service at a good price and uh, you'll be well on your way. Right. High profit margin. That's what you need. Wow. Man, it's funny that you, you know, you spoke on, you know, just focus on one thing because there's so many people trying to do everything, you know. And, you know, I actually did a video this week about, you know, the three types of people in business. Right. And basically, man, you seem like you're the straight line person, you know. <laughs> point you, A to point, point B. Point A to point B. You just focus on one thing, no distractions, and you're the type of person that just implement things quick and take action. That's and it. so... You know, that's what a lot of people need to start becoming, a straight line person when it comes to business. So, man, wow, that's some great stuff, bro. Exactly. So, the last question I want to ask you, Gerald, man, is what advice would you give to those that are looking to get into entrepreneurship or is currently in entrepreneurship and may be currently struggling right now in their business, you know, to get to the next level? What type of advice would you give that particular person? Uh, I would give both the advice of getting a mentor and a coach. That's the first thing, like find someone that may be in the industry or the business that you're looking to get into or the one that you may be struggling in that's getting a result and find out how you can get any type of mentorship from them or shadow them, what have you, buy their courses. Because I know a lot of times they say coaching is expensive for some people. I mean, it just really depends on how you look at it. But even if you can't get a coach at this particular time, buy their courses, buy their material, learn from them, shadow them. That's what I would recommend. Any books or audios that you can get information on in regards to the industry you're looking to get involved in or that you're already in, make sure you're reading. Make sure you're constantly listening to things that can strengthen your mindset and strengthen your skill set. Also, attend conferences and learn from those who are in your space that's crushing it. And it doesn't really just come from learning. You got to apply you got to take action. You got to put in the work. Like a lot of people get into entrepreneurship with a hobby mindset. Like if you get into it and you treat it like a hobby, it's going to pay you like a hobby. You treat it like a business, it's going to pay you like a business. So you got to get a daily method of operation and you got to run your business daily. You got to be consistent and persistent in the things that it takes to build that business on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, be willing to make some sacrifices along the way as well when it comes to entrepreneurship. In the beginning stages, or even if you're struggling at this particular time, look at how you're utilizing your time every day, right? Are you utilizing your time gossiping on the phone throughout the day? Are you utilizing your time watching TV? Are you utilizing your time scrolling up and down your Facebook and Snapchat and Twitter and all these social media platforms, timelines? 
Are you using that time to grow yourself and learn more? Are you using that time to build your business, right? So these are the type of things you have to keep in mind uh, when it comes to entrepreneurship, you know, if you really want to be successful. And also, this is a key virtue you want to keep in mind is you have to be patient. You have to be patient. Entrepreneurship is not an overnight type process and it's not for the weak heart. It's for the strong. Seriously, when it comes to entrepreneurship, it's not for the weak heart. So you got to be patient. You got to endure. One of my mentors said it best. He actually quotes Bruce Lee all the time. He says that uh, Bruce Lee said that he didn't fear the man that kicks a thousand kicks in a day. He fears the man that kicks a thousand kicks over a thousand days. If that makes sense. So you have to continue to be consistent and persistent in your actions. You may get there. It may take some months. It may take some years, right? You don't know when it's going to happen. But if you give up, you'll never know. So you just got to keep pressing forward. Understand everybody not going to support you either. Understand that it's your dream. It's your vision, right? If you have an idea for some type of business model, that's your baby. Don't, don't worry about people not supporting in the beginning. People support long, later on, right? As you start to create success, they'll start to celebrate you. Right? They either celebrate you or hate you. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it don't matter. Just keep pressing forward and eventually it'll happen for you. So that's what I definitely recommend for entrepreneurs. Wow. Man, this has been a great interview, man. You just shared some jewels, some golden nuggets, man. I appreciate you, man, for really, you know, letting our viewers know, you know, the real because a lot of people need to hear this information and, you know, appreciate you, man, for one, for keeping it real. All right. So, you know, with that being said, my friend, this is the social media director, Antonio Entrepreneur Millhouse. Gerald, do you have any last words that you want to uh, share with the viewers? Yeah, I would definitely tell you that don't just let this be a video you watch. If this video resonated with you, you got anything out of this video, apply what I'm sharing in this video. If you got any type of nuggets out of this video or tips that can help you moving forward, apply what I share in this video. I don't share videos to hear myself speak or to be some type of motivational speaker. That's not me, right? I want to really see people get results. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you're doing. I want to hear what's working for you. I want to hear your results. I want to hear your lifestyle changing. That's what I want to hear. And I also want to impact other people. So please feel free to share this video around with other people you feel can benefit from it. Drop a comment below if you got some value. If you got any questions, you want to connect, drop a comment below. My YouTube page, Gerald Bass, I have over 300 training videos that I've done for absolutely free over there. Nothing but value. Go over, hit the red button, subscribe to the page as I'm always dropping more training content. And also, for all my business owners that are looking at this particular live stream and you need some assistance in your business, say you have a business right now or you're looking to start a business, as soon as you start it, you want to know, how can I immediately start generating income? How can I immediately start getting traffic and leads and customers and clients? Go to GeraldBaz.com right now and put your name and email in the form that's going to pop up. GeraldBaz.com. The link is in the description. Just click the link. It's a free training I created absolutely for you. It's a $997 value, but for you watching the live stream, you get it for free. So just click the link in the description, put your name and email in the form. And with that said, I definitely look forward to seeing you a part of the 1%.